Hi, I'm Kavita and welcome to MIFAS Who's Next Model Search. We're going to find out what Malaysians think of local models and the local modelling talent. They are up and coming up at the moment and I think there's a lot of uh, place for improvement as well. Definitely they, uh, they can do well in the, not even in Malaysia, in the world stage as well. They are great because there are lots of uh, famous models, for example Ling, you know, they have been explored and everyone knows about them. From far I can see, wow, this is a very fresh model, which is ever is a pretty or handsome. Let's hear from the industry players what it takes to be a top model. We have our own supermodels mm -hmm. um, from the days of, you know, from the days of Ling mm -hmm. to more currently people like Tini, mm -hmm. who is a catwalk supermodel, right. to even Gwen Lu, who is based in New York now. Right. Yeah. And so I would say, you know, Malaysia in the scene, in the fashion industry scene, we do have a lot of potential. Right. Um, it's just that from my experience, a few years back, because like being in an being in this industry, we always have to keep up with the latest trend. Right. That means also keeping up with fresh faces, mm -hmm. new faces. We are always scouting and looking out, trying to spot new faces, yeah. fresh faces. You know that will be the you know that will be the next link. That will be the right. next yourself. That will be <laughs> the next teeny. Yeah. The first thing that we look for is actually, um, of course. Um, Appearance, mm -hmm. you know, when a model, when a person walks in, mm -hmm. especially for a model, right? Mm -hmm. You are all about selling yourself. Mm -hmm. So the first impression is very important. How you present yourself, mm -hmm. how confident you are. You mm -hmm. know, you walk in, you say hi. You know, my name is so and so. Height is definitely an advantage for us. Face wise, you know, okay, you don't need to be super beautiful, okay. but pleasant. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be groomed. Yeah, through proper, you know, grooming sessions and all, can be groomed, no problem. Okay. Well, I think for a, a, um, for a model to work both uh, in, the, in the commercial and the, and the uh, runway, lucrative-wise, she, she or he would do, right. would do well. But if it's, um, basically, if it's categorised to just one area, then it's a bit of a challenge, right? Yeah, because you're only catering for one area. So if it, if it's a model that's good for just runway, then you know it's just runway. So if to say lucrative, it may not, yeah, mm -hmm. because you got to work a little harder. Mm -hmm. But on the commercial side, if one is just on the commercial side, lucrative is a question because you could see uh, that model making very good money doing a commercial, right. than a model just doing runway. Right. So, you know, it, it has its differences, okay. but it has its own challenges. For the foreign models, uh, modelling in Malaysia gives it, as we call it, globalisation. Right. And it also gives to our local fashion retailers, uh, international retailers, and also our designers, uh, a look that would help them right. gain that recognition Overseas, right. when they show their collection or what they show in KL, right. showing there were uh, some foreign models along with our um, local Malaysian uh, models, that would be a portfolio, the opportunity for them to enhance themselves further internationally. Right. Now, that was an interesting insight on what Malaysians and industry players think of our local models. Don't forget to join us on www.m-ifa.com or follow us on Facebook for the news and events for the forthcoming Malaysian International Fashion Week 2010. I'm Kavita, signing off for Mifas Who's Next Model Search. See ya!